Hey friends, it's essentially Jesse. I haven't shot one of these videos in a hot minute. This is my top 10 for life. What is your top fragrances for life? Like what are they? Drop that in the comments below. I love interacting with you guys down there. I've got some good ones. I've got some real diversity here, okay? And I am excited about it. Some of these have stayed the same and some of them have not. So anyway, let's get into this video. I'm starting off with a designer fragrance. Now these are not, I used to do top 10 designer for life and top 10 niche for life. And I'm like, you know what? Let's just make it 10 and whatever it is, that's what it is. So that's where we're at today. Today I have niche, I have designer, I have a few different price points. Um, I have some, I have a fragrance that's been out for like 25, 30 years, maybe longer than that. Um, and I have some that are newer, so they came out like around Christmas time. So my list for top 10 has changed. If you want to see my past top 10 for life list uh, or videos, they're out there. I shoot one of these maybe once every year to year and a half because I really do want to give you guys an honest feel um, for like, what am I really loving? Because sometimes it changes just like, I don't know, your favorite shirt. And then a year later, you've got 10 more shirts and you're like, well, I still like that shirt, but it's not my favorite. You know, does that make sense? Okay, let's get started. So, first up is one that I don't hear a lot of people talking about. This is the Libra Flanker. This is La Absolu Platine, and it's so good. It's so unique. For a designer fragrance, this is stunning. Like, everything about it is stunning. I've done a full fragrance review on this particular fragrance. Probably have done a full fragrance review on almost all of these. Like, a, just a single fragrance review where I just talk in depth about the fragrance but anyway this perfume came out I think last year I picked it up um actually the sales rep was at the like a big box retailer and said hey smell this what just tell me what you think and I was like wrap it up <laughs> that's good um this is one that I almost partially blind bought like I didn't do what I tell you guys to do like spray it on walk around see if you still like it in 20 minutes I just loved it right off the bat because it's so unique for designer fragrance I feel like a lot of designers it's like super sweet and floral, super sweet and floral, super sweet and vanilla. You know, like I feel like there's just this, they're trying to please the masses, which I get. They're trying to sell perfumes. Like I would be doing the same thing. But at the same time, every once in a while, you need to throw something a little unique in there. So anyway, I've had the Libra original. I had the Flanker, the intense version. Um, I decluttered both of those. I liked them both. I'm not going to say that I didn't like them, but they weren't my cup of tea and they weren't unique enough to keep in my collection. This one, La Absolute Platine, definitely is. So Libra La Absolute Platine by YSL. All right, next up is a design as a niche fragrance. It's one that I've kind of come back around to, and that is Cambridge Club by uh, Zerjoff. This is in the Join the Club collection. This is so pretty. I recently started wearing this again. It's vanilla, it's a little rose, and it's a little spicy, and I am here for it. Um, I really enjoy Zerjoff fragrances. They make some stunners. They probably have a hundred fragrances. I mean, it's just unbelievable how many fragrances that they have. And almost all of them are just dynamite, stellar. There were several that I was going back and forth between because I love Star Starlight by Zerjoff. I love the Tony Iommi Monkey Special by Zerjoff. I have quite a few Zerjoffs in my collection. Herba Pura, I just love the brand. They do a great job. Their fragrances all smell unique. Um, I've heard this compared to Intense Cafe and one other thing, maybe Roses Vanille by Mancera. So I may be coming out with some battle videos because we really need to know who's the winner, who's the cream of the crop and who's not. But for me right now, Join the Club, um, Join the Club, Cambridge Club from the Join the Club collection is, is it for me, this is so good. So anyway, a great rose fragrance if you want a little rose. Well, it's a lot of rose, but it's a really unique rose. It's not just rose. It's, there's a lot going on here. Next up, another one in my collection that is very unique is by Mathieu Premier, and this is Incense Suave. <sighs> okay, this is a really incense forward fragrance. I'm not an incense forward fragrance type of gal, and I love it. <sighs> I get compliments on this whenever I wear it. I've done a full review on this. It is very unique. Like, it's incense, but it's also sweet. This is not, this is a heavy hitter. Like I will probably never repurchase this because it is beast mode. So if you get this and you 
overspray. Maybe don't overspray it the first time you wear it, just in case, because it is very, very stout, and I am here for that with this fragrance. Um, this is a great fragrance that I loved to wear this past winter. Um, it's just a great fragrance. It's a fragrance, uh, I smelled it on a friend of mine, and I was like, how fast can I put that in my cart? Um, yeah, so Incense Suave by Matier Premier. It's so good, very unique, not a safe blind by, do not blind by this fragrance. Hear me now, I didn't say. <laughs> there may be a few safe blind buys on the list. Okay, this one, this one has re-stolen my heart. I think it just steals my heart every year. Like, I love Black Orchid by Tom Ford. There is none other like it. I have nothing like this in my collection. I've never smelled anything like this. This is kind of the OG of, for in my mind, of like really out there niche quality fragrances from a designer. So anyway, Tom Ford Black Orchid. I smell the new, um, what is it? They're calling it parfum version or whatever. It's okay. I still went back to Tom Ford. I smelled this on a girl. I was in like a FedEx or a Kinko. I don't know, somewhere where we were printing. And this girl sat down at the computer next to me. I was out running errands and I was like, I have got to print this form off. So I go in there, she walks past me and I'm like, Phew. She's wearing Tom Ford Black Orchid. <laughs> I could not get home fast enough to put my Tom Ford Black Orchid on as well. I don't even remember what I was wearing that day. But this is just, if you love it, you love it. And if you don't love it, that's okay. Like, I get it. My top 10 list may look completely different than yours. But I like to have something for everyone. And this is just great. Okay. Next up, a vanilla forward fragrance, but also floral. This is Resendo Matu number five. This is their Floral Amber Sensual Musk. It's so good. You can tell. I really like this. So, it's floral, it's amber, it's vanilla, it's gorgeous. It's a beautiful fragrance. I know this was hot, hot, hot about two years ago, and then everybody's kind of moved on. Well, I'm not forgetting about you, Resendo Matu. I love this. Um, number five is so good. I did hear that maybe Resendo Matu 2010 or maybe it was 2020 smells some kind of sim similar to this. So if you know about that or if there's another Resendo Matu I need to check out, send me a comment. Okay, we're talking about Viva More Dubai Reverie. If you know, you know. I've done a single fragrance review on this. These fragrances came out around Christmas time here in the United States, and I am loving this one. I got the little discovery kit. I love that Viva More does that. If you have never tried them out, get on their website, get a discovery set, and check them out. Dubai Reverie is one of my faves by this brand. Um, this is a another. This is a citrus fragrance. But this sucker lasts and it is loud and proud. Like I don't have, and that tells you how much I've worn this because it has a pretty good dent in it since winter and um, you don't have to spray very much of it. So I'm, I'm wearing this quite a bit. Uh, but Dubai Reverie is just a beautiful citrus fragrance, um, but it lasts, it's sweet. It's just so hard for me to find a citrus fragrance that lasts and this one lasts. It is so good. So Dubai Reverie by Viva More Parfums. Next up is a fragrance that is just, I was like, mm, this one's in it. Velvet Vanilla by Mancera. Every single time I wear this fragrance, I get a compliment on it. At least one. Um, it's vanilla, but it is such a different vanilla. It's a smooth, creamy vanilla. Um, it's not really like a sticky vanilla. I've worn this to play golf and people have complimented me on it. So it lasts and it projects if you can play golf and people can still smell it. I mean, like on the 14th hole, somebody asked me what it was on the first hole. They're like, wow, you smell so good. What are you wearing? And I told them. And then by the 14th hole, they're like, can you go home and take a picture of your bottle so that I can buy one for myself? And I was like, sure. So, um, if you can still smell it after 14 holes of golf, it's a good one. Velvet Vanilla is beautiful. The packaging is beautiful. Mansier packaging is pretty straightforward, but I love the ombre effect on this one. I really love ombre like packaging. It's just a thing. Next up is one that may possibly have been in every single one of my top tens for life. This is Armani Privé Vert Malachit. I do have two bottles of this. I don't have two bottles of much else in my collection. Uh, if anything at all, but Armani Privé Vert Maliki. This is a really heavy, hear me now, really heavy white floral. It's not heavy, but it is really bold. For a white floral, it's not like 
fresh and clean, white florals. This is like sensual, heavy, I don't wanna use the word heavy, but um, bold, daring white floral. It's also very creamy. So I just can't get enough of this. This will always be in my collection. The packaging's dynamite. Um, the fragrance inside is even better. Everywhere, every time I wear this, I get a compliment on it, which I'm not wearing fragrances to get compliments, but it's not a bad thing either, right? Right. I just wear fragrances. I kind of pick, figure out what I'm wearing and where I'm going, and then I'm like, what fragrance matches this outfit? So, anyway, Verit Malachite by Armani Privé. Get your nose on this. Rouge Malachite is also great. I have a battle video between the two. Okay, next up is an Atelier des Or fragrance, and this is Lune Feline. Okay, so I had to put a kind of spicier, more interesting vanilla on this fragrance, and Lune Feline did it for me. I found this probably three years ago, picked up a tiny little vial of it, um, like off Scent Split or something like that smelled it i was like okay that's pretty next i was just not and then i found it about a year ago and smelled it again and i was like what was i thinking have you done that with a fragrance i was like that's gorgeous let me go find it and put it in my cart so i did anyway loon feline it's got the gold flex it's beautiful this has the the um black cap some of them have white some of them are gold anyway but loon feline by atelier des Ours, can do no wrong like it's a good one everybody needs this in their collection and not my number one or my number ten these are all pretty even like i would just say general top ten but one that i will forever probably have in my collection is by killian's straight to heaven so you guys know i love can't stop loving you i call that one can't stop wearing you um i love intoxicated but straight to heaven is probably actually more like men's targeted fragrance i do not care I will wear this every day. It is so good. It is just a radiant, like, breath of fresh air, but not in a fresh and clean kind of way. Like, this is a breath of fresh air in a, like, come hither some type of way. Like, this is so good. But I would totally wear this to work. I would totally wear this on a date. There's nowhere that I wouldn't wear this fragrance. Straight to Heaven is straight to heaven. Like, it's so good. Anyway. I can't say enough about these 10 fragrances. I picked them all because I love them all. And so anyway, what are your top 10? What's your top three? What's your top two, your top five? Drop me a comment below, let me know. Thank you guys so much for watching. If you can take a minute and subscribe if you like fragrance and fragrance related content, perfume, all the smell good things. Sometimes I do candles, sometimes I have lotions and body oils on here. So anyway, um, yeah, so just take a second, hit subscribe. Thank you guys so much for watching. Smell you later.